All right, ladies and gentlemen, this next bout is brought to you by Ariana Bistro, and it'll be held at middleweight at 160 pounds for four rounds. Introducing first, out of the blue corner, with a record in boxing of one win, no defeats, and one win by knockout, standing at six foot tall, weighing in at 160 pounds, hailing from Las Vegas, Nevada, Brandon the Human Highlight Reel Jenkins. And his opponent out of the red corner with a record of two wins and no losses, two wins by knockout, standing at six foot three, weighing in at 157 pounds from Richfield, Minnesota, Gavin Ghost Hendrickson. And your referee for the action is Ludie Webster. All right, guys, the belt line looks good. We went over the rules in the dressing room, so you know what I expect. <laughs> got it? Touch up? We'll go back to your corners. Come on with the belt. We've got Brandon Jenkins in the black trunks, white trim, and Gavin Hendrickson at black trunks, gold trim. Hendrickson's already trying to find his rhythm before the fight even starts. <laughs> Touch of gloves, no touch of gloves. Both fighters center of the ring. I expect this to be uh, kind of a brawl. You know, you'd think that uh, Gavin is going to keep it long and on the outside, but he's actually a real good in fighter for how long his arms are and how, how much of a rangey fighter is. He likes to mix it up and, and fight on the inside, and he's not bad at it. Hey, Jenkins has moved, switched his lead foot three times already. Southpaw now trying to confuse Hendrickson a little bit. Ooh, left right punch. And then switch of stances is uh, Jenkins. Gavin Henderson fires back a couple jabs of his own. Gavin's got to keep popping that jab and, and just keep him at bay with that. Ooh, clash, Ooh, clash uh, of heads, heads there right on the chin. Jenkins just circling. Circling Hendrickson. Hendrickson looked real good in his last fight with us. Yeah, he's a good fighter, lots of experience, and uh, like I said in the, before, he's he's been around. That's for sure. Oh, good jab! Stiff left jab by Hendrickson, followed up by another one. Ooh, Je Jenkins! Nice straight left hand by Jenkins. Couple rights and a left of his own. Switching lead foots once again is Jenkins, followed by a heavy nice right, right hand. Nice hand. Jenkins is unorthodox, but he's, he's pretty fluid in there. I could tell he, he's been working on boxing. You know, he's, he's throwing a nice straight left hand, and he's throwing an overhand right, and he's switching his stances and kind of all over the place, but he's, he's doing it with fluidity, and it, uh, it, uh, it's going to be a problem for Gavin Henderson if he doesn't figure out the right range. Ooh, left, right, right, left, followed by two uppercuts. Ooh. Nice little check up. Yeah, Hendricks is responding. Hendrickson's responding with his own. Ooh. That's a good check hook by uh by Gavin Hendrickson. Yeah, Hendrickson is starting to figure the style of the uh, very unorthodox style of Brandon Jenkins out. Snapping jab by Hendrickson. Ooh. Yeah, both of these guys just seem like they're like downloading information. They're still feeling each other out, but the unorthodox style of Brandon Jenkins is uh, it's going to be difficult. To, Good right hand for Hendrickson yeah. there. Yeah, both both kind of uploading the information, but also doing it with uh, with punches like we we didn't see against uh, with Reyes and Walker. You know, they were kind of just walking around, and yeah. these guys are throwing their shots and, and doing it the right way. Oof, Jenkins, ooh, coming forward, Jenkins with some heavy punches. Hendrickson's slipping all of them. Hendrickson's slick, man. It's yeah, just his easy. Good head movement. Yeah, his body placement, his own body placement is he's just very difficult to hit. Yeah, that's that that's that experience from uh your hundred amateur fights. You know, you learn how to move out of, away from shots and and uh, get out of the way and not get hit. So Brandon Hendrickson was the upper Midwest Golden Gloves champion. He said his key to boxing is boxing don't get hit, and he says, I know my opponent's got a lot of MMA experience. 
His sparring, if you talk to him about his sparring? Yeah, he sparred with uh, Leo Medell, who's a, a tough Mexican kid uh, out of here, St. Paul, I believe. Uh, we've sparred a couple times in the past, actually, and I believe he's about 4-1 and one as a pro. Okay. He also sparred with uh, Jared Bradford, a young kid from my gym, who uh, just happened to win the, uh, or excuse me, he's a bronze medalist at the uh, the National Golden Gloves Tournament in Tulsa a couple months ago. So wow. Some good sparring for, for Gavin Hendrickson to prepare for this fight. Yeah, Brandon Jenkins is... Was, uh, he was sparring with Jordan Levitt and uh, Jack Jusila, both of them UFC veterans. Jenkins says he plans on ending his fight with Money in the Bank, a.k.a. <laughs> body shots. Left, right punch, lunging, left, right punch by Jenkins. Hedrickson just backs out. Overhand, right? Ooh, followed by a nice left. Nice head movement. When you fight guys... That are multiple sport combat sport athletes like Jenkins. He's going to give you looks that you generally don't see in the gym. It's very unorthodox. Yeah, it's tough to to find guys that uh, are going to give you that look in sparring that are switching their feet and throwing punches from angles that a boxer doesn't normally see. Ooh, lunging and, and like running at you like that. <laughs> <laughs> one thing, one thing, my coach always tells me when I got a guy that's slick or when I got a guy that's uh, just hard to hit is uh, just fire center mass. You know, he's, a, he's a Marine, so uh, <laughs> he's, he's thinking about shooting. And, and it, uh, that, that'd, be a, that'd be a good uh, idea for Henderson On the right range. Now. Yeah, on the range. Because, <laughs> you know, he's slipping and sli Jenkins, that is. He's slipping and sliding and switches stances. And like that jab to the body right there, you can't miss. Even, even if he blocks it, you still lock him up, and then you can throw something behind it. Yeah, Henderson really hasn't found his groove yet, his rhythm. By this time in his first fight, we saw him kind of finding his rhythm. Yeah. He's still trying to figure that out right now. Yeah. And that's that's all on Jenkins. Just that that tricky style, the stuff in, that he's doing to uh, throw Henderson off is working, and and uh, that's how he's going to win this fight. Is just confuse him and, and I, I, yeah. I think what's even t t add to adding to the confusion is Jenkins doesn't go to the same place twice no. often. You know, he doesn't kind of give you that same awkward spot where he ends up. He's he's ending up Good in from Henderson, yeah several different spots. Henderson's got a. It's got to be more than just one, though. He's got to follow it up with the right hand right behind that if he if he's landing that jab. Left, right, punch, running. And Hendrickson is, ooh. Nice check hook. And like I said before, Jenkins is, uh, he's awkward, and he's he's switching, and he's doing stuff he shouldn't be doing uh, in, a, in a boxing ring, but, but it's working for him because he's pretty fluid while he's doing it. You can tell that. He and uh, Shane Mosley Jr., his, his trainer, have worked on, on this type of stuff in the gym, and he's taking his stuff from MMA and translating it to the boxing ring. Nice little body shot yeah. by Hendrickson. Good left hook to the body. That's where he's got to go. He's got to, It's going to slow him down, and it's going to uh, – oh, good right hand over the top there, too. Overhand right hand by Hendrickson connects, followed up by a jab. Hendrickson's starting to find his rhythm. Yeah, I respect Hendrickson a lot, and, I mean, Jenkins, obviously, with – you know, 81 pro combat sports fights himself. Like, we, between these two, they got about 200 fights. Yeah, no kidding. Between each other. That's wild. Nice work on the inside by Gavin. It's hard to outslick somebody that's got as many fights as you. In, you know, three digits worth. That's a good combination of the body there by Gavin Henderson. A right, hard right hand and a left hook around the around the elbows there to the body. Jenkins closed with some uh, solid punches, but I think Hendrickson's starting to crack that code. Yeah. Jenkins refuses to refuses to stool. You got Floyd Mos or you got uh, Shane Mosley Jr. in his corner. Yeah, I think uh, Gavin found his range there and, and started landing a few of those body shots and that's that's what's gonna win him this fight. It's gonna stop Jenkins from switching and stop him from uh, doing all the slippery sliding stuff and get, yeah. just get him in range. You've got Roy Dunlap, the head coach of Gavin Hendrickson, giving him instructions. Cesar Venezuela is the second. Jenkins quick off he's, the stool. He's up ready to go with about 20 seconds to go. In the <laughs> I think Jenkins is actually fighting full time too. He's training full time. Yeah. Shane Mosley Jr. very animated in the corner as well. Ooh, touch the gloves with both fighters. Double jab, nice triple jab. jab by Jenkins. Good right hand to the body there. 
Double jab by Jenkins. Switch of lead, lead foot again and leading with a jab, or with an uppercut actually. Back to the body is Hendrickson. Yeah, when Jenkins is fighting southpaw like this, it's it's up to uh, Gavin Hendrickson to win the battle of the feet, and he needs to keep stepping to his left and get the angle to land that right hand. And he landed a nice one to the body earlier. He just got to keep on going to his left. Jenkins taking center like that right there. Now he's gonna come back with a left hook over the top, and it's there. Ooh, uppercut by Jenkins. Caught up by a jab. Nice shot to the body. Ooh. Slapping jab by Jenkins. Ooh. Nice uppercut by Jenkins there on the it's inside. Almost like a leap, like a leaping uppercut. Yeah. He's rushing, it's switching stances and throwing an uppercut. And nice little sneaky body shot there with the right hand. Yeah, as it's well. like that ADHD kid in school. You know, like just you don't know what he's gonna do. Yeah. <laughs> Jenkins is fantastic. It's just, his style is uh, very difficult to deal with. Yeah, like you said, it's tough to to prepare for this because when you're sparring with. Uh, conventional boxers, they're not giving you this look, so you almost have to find an MMA guy to find uh, to get some rounds in the gym nice to prepare for a guy yeah. like this. Nice uppercut by Jenkins again. Ooh, Ooh good shot. Nice counter uppercut. Left right punch once again by Jenkins. Back to the body. Hendrickson's back to the body, but he's got to do a little bit more. Hendrickson's corner telling him a little more up tempo. He's throwing that nice right hand to the body and he's landed probably four or five of them, but he's not coming back with anything after. And he's got to turn that into a combination and just keep them punches rolling. Masterful job by Jenkins. Yeah, what a difficult style to prepare for. There's that right hand to the body again. He's got to come back with a left hook. Back to the body again is Hendrickson. It's not really connecting though. They're not solid punches. Yeah, that was kind of a looper. More of a slap. There's a good yeah. body shot right there by Jenkins. A little Ooh. right hand to the rib cage. Nice stick. Left jab by Hendrickson. The output that Jenkins is, has right now is, uh, is very high. And he doesn't seem to be slowing down. Yeah, and you know, he's not loading up on anything except for that uppercut. A little bit of a low blow there by Hendrickson. He's not loading up on anything, so he's letting those punches flow and he's just getting them off and getting him into the target and landing shots. He's got nice little shoulder rolls too, Jenkins. Nice, nice round. That's a good round for yeah, Jenkins. Yeah, I mean, a little ray of light right there for Hendrickson, for sure. There'd be a little sense of urgency in the corner of Hendrickson. Jenkins seems cool, calm, and collected. He's not even taking his mouthpiece out. Jenkins, Jenkins' cardio has got to be through the roof. He's in shape. You can tell he's Damn, a bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can see there's a nice little bond between him and Shane Mosley Jr. It's strange uh, what friendships the fight game makes. Yeah, absolutely. An MMA fighter from uh, from Prior Lake, this Minnesota. Is, yeah. This is the fourth and a, final uh, round. One of the greatest of all time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you can tell like, there's a there's a genuine bond there. Yeah. You know, they're hanging out on the weekends. Both fighters, center of the ring. Met by both jabs on both sides. Hendrickson has got to have a little sense of urgency going into this fifth and final round. Yeah, this is a round that he needs to take. And like I said, he's got to throw punches in combination after he freezes him with that right hand of the body he's got to come back with a left hook Ooh, heavy body punch that might have been the hardest punch we've seen Hendrickson throw all fight I think it was like a good one to the chin of Jenkins in the second round actually but that was that was definitely up there Oof. Yeah, Jenkins doing a good job just getting punches to the target you know nothing hard but just keeping them coming and different angles and kind of confusing Gavin Henderson. Yeah, Jack, or Henderson has uh, picked up the pace this round in regards to output. Good body shot again. But again, just one shot. There's five shots from Jenkins, and they're not landing hard, but they're landing, and uh, looks good to the judges. Yeah, Jenkins is doing a great job. There's four or five again, and just one from Henderson. He's got a punching combination. Gavin Henderson does if he wants to win this final round and and uh, win this fight. 
Hendrickson is a little more active, but he's the wow, jab. Nice stiff jab by Hendrickson. Back to the body. The body's nice, but it's the fifth, it's the fifth and final round. Yeah, in a, in a four-round fight, it's tough to uh, invest, uh, <laughs> get that body body shot investments. Oh, good right hand from Jenkins there. Caught Henderson backing up. Yeah, J Jenkins is just uh, he's put on a master class against a guy who's boxing skill. I, I really respect. I really respect Gavin Hendrickson and his ability in the ring. Yeah, he's uh, right now. Gavin Henderson's just throwing that one big shot, and, and Jenkins is out punching him four to one. You know, he's not hurting him, but he's landing those shots, and the ref, or excuse me, the judges have to have to score that. those. Yeah, they got to acknowledge that for sure. There's a combination. Henderson's gonna make it dirty. Nice move by by Jenkins, a little uh, step aside and yeah. get Gavin Henderson back up back up to the ropes. Ooh, left right punch. Jenkins is real heavy on the uppercuts too. I, 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 I mean, uppercut's an excellent punch to have in your, in your repertoire, but Jenkins really pulls it out. He uses it a lot. Yeah, he's throwing it from unconventional angles too, and yeah. kind of leaping leading, in, even and, leading yeah, with it, switching stances as he throws it, which is dangerous. Uh, you throw an uppercut from too far out, you can get countered very easily. But Gavin Henderson haven't been able to take advantage of that yet. Heavy overhand right punch, but multiple punches on the return by Jenkins. Oof. That's the end of the round. That is the end of the fight. That's a good fight. Yeah, if I'm Hendrickson, I'm uh, I'm frustrated. Yeah, that's a uh, a tough fight to score. I, I the last two rounds, I think Jenkins won the last two rounds for sure. But uh, those first two were pretty close, so I could see a draw in this fight. You think so? I think so. I I, I thought Gavin Henderson won the first round. Uh, second round was kind of if close. He, yeah. Third and fourth round, I thought Jenkins won going away. So I think we could see a draw or maybe a three-one victory for Jenkins. But yeah, just uh, very fluid, very unorthodox and awkward uh, angles from, from Jenkins. Right yeah, yeah, I know. Jenkins, masterful performance. You can see why somebody like that would be valuable in a boxing gym. Yeah. He's going to give you looks that Absolutely, you're not yeah, getting yeah. anywhere else. Yeah, if I'm a, if I'm a fighter, even at my level, I, I'd want to spar a guy like that. Just uh, especially if I'm fighting a left-handed fighter, I'd want to spar. Feel the movement. Yeah, absolutely. Just get a different look. It's excellent. Well, we're gonna make this official. And um, I don't know. I, I think Jenkins was, like you said, third and fourth, but yeah. those first two rounds were very close. MMAfutures.com, you can watch it at MMAfutures.com. Or Fight TV, F-I-T-E TV. Oh, all right, ladies and all right, ladies and gentlemen. The score totals are in. Judge Bobby Burnett has it 37-39. Judge Scott Erickson has it 39-37. And Judge Kyle Shiley has it 38-38. You're Outcome is a split draw. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm with Brandon Jenkins initially. Brandon, your awkward style seemed to pay dividends, 
but it took you a minute to get it going. Yeah, he, <clears throat> yeah, he's got a good, he's got a good jab. It's, it's stuff. It, it, it feels like a right hand. It's, it's terrible. Uh, yeah, he hurt me in the body a couple of times, but I wore it pretty well. Uh, yeah, he's good, good man. He's good. Everything everyone told me. You've got over 80 combat fights and experience. The issue is your opponent has 100. The ring IQ tonight, was it a factor in this being a draw for you? Uh, I thought I did enough. I thought oh, this, this, this mic is messed up. I thought I did enough. Uh, I thought I won 3 to 1 at least. Uh, but yeah, I don't, I'm not a judge. I just uh, try to finish him. He's, he's got a good chin, and uh, yeah, he's, he's a good fighter. I wouldn't mind doing it again. All right, ladies and gentlemen, on the other side of the, uh, side of the ring, we've got Gavin Hendrickson. Gavin, your blows to the body. You started pouring it out a little bit more towards the end of the, end of the fight. The beginning, though, there seemed to be some confusion or adjustments in regards to the style of your opponent. Yeah, it took me a little while to get going. He has kind of an awkward style, and he's a, he's a good, talented boxer for a mixed martial arts fighter. I think we need the rematch now. I think it might be in the works as well. What is, with somebody with so much experience as yourself, was it also difficult dealing with the ring IQ of your opponent because he's obviously got almost as many fights as yourself? Yeah, he was switching stances a lot and uh, being awkward and stuff. Not like a traditional boxer or anything, so uh, I'd love to practice and do it again. I think I can beat him. <clears throat> Excellent, ladies and gentlemen. We apologize. It's a draw. Sometimes these things work out in five-round fights rather than four. Thank you.